Shalom, shalom, all praises to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, <coughs> Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakadash, real quick before I clock in. All right, I got still 15 minutes before I clock in. Early morning plantation through the spirit. I'm going to read this through the spirit. Lord willing, this is edifying. Psalms 28 and verse 1, and it reads a psalm of Dawadah. Malak Dawada, King David. Unto thee will I cry, O Lord Yahweh, my rock. Be not silent to me, lest if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. And this is what we pray for daily. This is why, you know, we pray for mercy. We pray that the Lord continue to deal with us in the Holy Spirit. Because we understand that we don't want the, you don't want the King South syndrome. You don't want that, man. Trust me. You know, and we pray that the Lord help us to endure to the end because, hey, you know, King Dawada knew that. He knew how precious the Holy Spirit was. Even in Psalms, <clears throat> my allergies, so like your brothers. I think, was that Psalms 55? Um, Take that, not thy Holy Spirit away. Give ear to my prayer. Attend unto my because of the voice. My heart, the horror, I said. Then I will, then I will fly away. I will hasten my say. I think it's in, um, maybe I think it's Isaiah 50. Uh, take, take not thy Holy Spirit. Spirit, bear with me. I'm trying to do this little quick snippet for brothers. Psalms 51 and 11. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. See, this is very important because like the Apostle Gabar was saying, you know, the Holy Spirit is the engine of our body. It's the spirit. Without the engine, the car cannot run. So the Holy Spirit is what's uh, activated in us to understand it comes from the heavens without that holy spirit you're not going to be edified you're not going to understand you're not going to be face to face with the lord the scriptures say uh the scriptures say uh, uh uh continue face let me see continue continue face Seek thy face, right? Seek thy face continually. First, First Chronicles 16. Let's get that real quick. First Chronicles chapter 16. I'm going to start at verse 11 down to 13, right? And it reads, uh, what's that? First Chronicles 16. Like Remember his marvelous works that he have done. His wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O ye seed of Israel, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen one. All right. Where is it at? It says, seek his. Oh, here it goes. 11. Salakia, brothers. Seek the Lord. Verse 11. Sarat Salakia. Seek the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, and his strength. Seek his face continually. How do you seek the Lord continually? By studying. Praying, being a good servant of the Lord, obeying the laws, not being wicked. You know, that's what it is. Scripture talks about Moses went to Mount Sinai for about 40 days up in the mount. The Lord was supping with him. He was supping with Moses, right? When he came down, his face was shining, right? And that's how we're supposed to be. We're the light of the world. Our face shineth, man, because the Holy Spirit is dealing with us. This is what, going back to Psalms 28, when it goes, Cry aloud, my rock, be not silent to me. Bless, if thou be silent to me, I become like them that go down into the pit. All right? Being taken away, the Holy Spirit being stripped away from you. You know? It's very important to have the Holy Spirit with us. And if the Lord is dealing with you, you have to stay under that cry, sighing and crying, suffering the afflictions, spiritually being vexed 
with the filthy conversation of Lot here in Babylon the Great, because all this place knows is evil and wickedness. So you're the few, you brothers and sisters that's listening, you're the few. This is only for the house of mourning, the house of faith. You're the few, all right, that feel this way. You should. This is what's going to keep you to endure to the end with Yah Bashim Yah Shai. He's going to help us. Hear the voice of my supplications when I cry unto thee, when I lift up my hands towards the holy oracle. All right? In the heavens, the spirit, that's the holy oracle. This Bible, this truth, the spirit of truth. Draw me not away with the wicked. Two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed here. Scripture talks about uh, hand joining hand, right? What's that, Isaiah? Right? Um, I'm not sure if it's 13 or 14. Isaiah 13 and 14. And I got to highlight all of this all over again because I had to download. Got a new phone. And um, I had to download the apps again. Um, hand join let me see if I spelled that right. Join in hand. No one in Proverbs. And there's one in right hand. I know it's in Isaiah. And that's an old scripture. And this is one good. This is a good one too. Uh, Proverbs 11 and 21. Though hand join in hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So... Two-thirds of our people joining hands with the wicked, they're going to be destroyed here. That's why it says here, draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of iniquity. Iniquity is sinning again upon sin, transgression of the law, which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their heart. And this is the characteristics of Esau. This is what, this is what Esau has presented to two-thirds of our people here. In Babylon the Great, he has given them an illusion, all right, of false hopes under false pretense, and ultimately it's going to destroy them. That's why our people are full of darkness. They come against this truth. When we out there in the highways and byways, when we teach them, they scoff and mock. So draw me not away with the wicked and with the workers of, of iniquity which speak peace to their neighbors, but mischief is in their hearts. Give them according to their deeds. Eventually, the Lord is going to destroy this man. He's going to disappoint the devices of this wicked devil. As the scriptures say, he's going to be snared by the same net he set up for you. Also, Jeremiah 49, I think around the verse 8 down to 12, it talks about that we that was not supposed to drink of the punishment, the cup, we drunk it. The Lord destroyed us. Because of disobedience, the Lord put us in captivity. He destroyed us. You know, he put these curses upon us. He punished us. And it, all go, it goes on saying, uh, um, and you, how much more are you? And I'm just paraphrasing, Esau, eat them. You surely shall drink the cup. So you're going to, the Lord is going to give you according to your deeds and according to to the wickedness of their endeavors. Give them after the work of their hands, render to them their desert. See that? So when you go into this word deeds, check it out. <clears throat> Give them, render to their deeds. Let's go that right here. Listen to this. Strong's H, 6467. Poal. Poal. All right, and the definitions is work. Deed doing. All right. Let's go to your. Uh, no, no, no. That's not the one I wanted. Uh, Salakia. Bear with me. It was, I think it was Endeavors. Maybe it's that one. <clears throat> it could be this one. Yep. It was Endeavors. So when we go into this word, Endeavors, listen. Strong's H, 4611. Meliel. Melil. Deed. Second entry. Ma'alal. Mm. Ma'alal. Deed. You see? Practice. Scripture talks about them practice evil upon their beds. They practice it because it was, give, it was given, the power was given to them. 
What's that in, Micah? Let's get that real quick. I got three minutes left. All right, and I got to go. Micah, what's that, Micah 2? All right. Woe to them that device iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it. You see that? They practice it because it's in the power of their hand. They practice it. You see? These are the deeds of the wicked, the endeavor. So the Lord is going to give them according to their deeds. Esau, you done. You're through. Practice. Look, look practice usually bad. Look at that. The acts of wicked Esau, Edom. Practice usually bad, man. See that? So when the Lord says, give them according to their deeds and according to the wickedness of their endeavors, give them after the work of their hands, render them to their desert. That's it. The Lord is going to destroy this man eventually. That's why we got to stay in the spirit continually. Pray to the Lord. Seek his face continually. Because eventually the Lord is going to deliver the elect, whoever we are. Yaharatazah, Yaharatazah, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Lamaam Shamkacha Yanaya, Yahabashim Yahushai. We pray that the Lord sets us up, man, and, 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 you know, deliver us. Be there for us, because we believe the report. We believe the report. All right? We believe the report. The scripture doesn't lie. What's that? Psalms 140? Deliver me, O Lord Yahweh, from the evil man, Esau, Edom. Preserve me from the violent man, which imagine mischief in their heart. Continually are they gathered together for war. Revelation 12 and 12. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Their media demonizing us. That's coming. And it's okay. We're going to set. We're going to be strong in this, man. Keep me, O Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have purpose to overthrow my going. See? Call up, but the Lord is going to deliver us, man. You better believe it. Right? You better believe it. Psalms 144 and 1, Blessed be the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahushua, my strength, with teaching my hands to war, my fingers to fight, my goodness and my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer. All right? And my deliverer. I got to go. Damn. It's a lot, good brothers. To escape. See? To be saved, deliver, slip away. To bring into security, escape, cast forth. See that? So we're going to be good. Call Lord Yahweh Shem Shai. All praises to Yahweh Shem Shai. Lord willing, this is edifying to you brothers and sisters. Shalom, shalom, shalom.